everyone, it's Blakely with Everyday Gourmet. So for Christmas time, I always love doing like really fancy looking desserts, but they're not actually that hard to do. So I'm gonna show you a red wine poached pear. I'm gonna poach these, red, uh, these pears in red wine and all kinds of spices and herbs and deliciousness. And then I'm gonna do over like a little cinnamon whipped cream and little almond crumble. It sounds super hard, but it's super not. And it's so good, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so in my pan here, I'm going to do about a bottle of red wine. So you want a red wine that's good quality, but not something that you're splurging on necessarily. You want something that you drink, but it's like a, you know, whatever. So then I'm going to add all kinds of delicious flavors in there. I'm gonna slice up half an orange. Put it right in here. I'm going to do half a lemon. I'm going to do a cinnamon stick. I'm gonna break it. Oh, I can't. There we go. I'm gonna do three quarters of a cup of some brown sugar. I'm going to do a little bit of ginger. Just a tiny bit. I just want this to be super flavorful. And then I am doing something extra decadent and doing a vanilla bean here. So I'm just gonna. Cut it in half, just so all those seeds that are in here, which make up, see the vanilla bean, look at that, that's the good stuff. So we wanna put that in there. So I haven't peeled these for a reason. They turn brown really quickly. So you wanna make sure this is on high. You wanna bring this up to a boil. And as soon as that comes up to a boil is when we're gonna start peeling that. All right, that is coming to a boil. So now I am turning it down to a simmer, and I'm gonna peel my pears. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm just taking the hand peeler just like this, making sure you get off. So, all right, so you wanna use a bosque, or you can use um, an anjou pear, but you wanna use something that's not too mushy. And I actually kinda of like to use them, do them when they're underripe. All right, so that is smelling so good. So I'm just gonna show you one here. Also, what I'm gonna do is once I have peeled everything nicely, beautiful, it's looking fantastic. And you're gonna do one per person, so based off of that. Okay, so once you're like, you're, once you're done with that, you're gonna cut about a half inch off the bottom, just so it can sit up straight. All right, I'm gonna keep cutting our pears and gonna put them in here. And you're just gonna kind of rotate them around for about 20 minutes cooking, stirring every once in a while. Make sure that they're beautiful. So these pears have been cooking away. I've been stirring them like every couple minutes just so they can you know, poach evenly. But they, oh my God, it smells so oh, oh, oh good. All right, so we're gonna take out our pears here. Look at those, oh my God, I'm so excited. Take out all of them. And then what I'm gonna do is just let this poaching liquid continue to cook down for, ah, I'm gonna spill it everywhere, for 20, about another 20 minutes. I want it to be like this beautiful, thick syrup. All right, so I'm gonna let that keep going. Well, that's hot. Okay, send this aside. In the meantime, I have my oven preheating at 425. I'm gonna do a little crumble so in here, I have one cup rolled oats, quarter of a cup of sliced almonds, tablespoon brown sugar. I'm gonna do some cinnamon in here. Not too much, because I'm gonna do like a cinnamon whipped cream in there. Then I'm gonna do four tablespoons of melted butter. All right, so, a nice mix, just like this. Make sure everything's coated. And I'm just gonna basically sprinkle this on the, the cinnamon whipped cream after it's done cooking. All right, so I'm gonna lay this on here. Spread it out thin. Like that. 
beautiful. All right, gonna put this in here. 425 for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say about 10, 15 minutes. I don't want it to get too brown. All right, and that goes, I'm gonna let this keep cooking for about another 18 minutes. So our crumble's done, looks perfect. I wanna make a little change to the recipe. 425 for about seven minutes. So it got brown pretty quickly, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And then look at this thick, syrupy amazingness that we're gonna be using. So now the final step is making that cinnamon whipped cream. So in here, I'm gonna do about a cup of heavy whipping cream. Gotta have some confection of sugar. Because really, nothing in here is too sweet. I'm gonna say about two tablespoons of that. And then I'm gonna do a good amount of this cinnamon in here. I'm gonna say about a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I want to whip this until it's a step below whipped cream. I want it still kind of like saucy, you know what I mean? I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. Okay, so this is like exactly what I'm looking for. It is definitely whipped, but it's still, it's not whipped whipped, you know what I mean? It still has, has all that beautiful lightness to it. However, it's not stiff peaks here. This is what you want. All right, it's time to assemble. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do a beautiful scoop of this cinnamon whip here. Just like this. And then, one of these beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous pears right in the middle, just like that. Move this out of the way. And then I have that beautiful poaching liquid that has reduced down. I also went ahead and uh, just you know took out all of the large chunks here. So you just have this beautiful poached liquid here. That's gorgeous. Like that. Just, just a little bit, just need a little bit. And I also like to serve this either lukewarm or cold. And then a little bit of our crumble. And hello, you have a holiday worthy, amazing red wine poached pear. I cannot wait to have it. So this is done, and well, I already had half of it. I couldn't, I couldn't wait, Are you crazy? And it is like insanely good. The inside is still the pear color, but then it has this beautiful crunchiness of that almond crumble, the lightness, kind of airy sugariness of the bottom um, cinnamon whip, and it's so good, so delicious. Strongly encourage you to make this. You could do all of this ahead of time, just like assemble, because you can serve this cold or even room temperature. It's a perfect holiday dessert. I hope you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet Blakely for more delicious, <laughs> delicious recipes and videos. Cheers. Mm. <laughs>